All right, guys, today we are in Canton, Ohio at the party place right down the street from where Toys R Us used to be. This place is awesome. I film it every year. And just like every year, we're gonna begin by looking at the enormous pumpkin inflatable out of the road. Yes, look at that awesome thing. Guys, I can't even tell you, this thing has to be 20 feet tall at least. I just have to wonder how many years they've been using this. It's just, it's so awesome looking. I love it so much. You can tell that it has been taken down and put up and taken down and put up and taken down a hundred times. I love it so much, it makes me wanna go to a pumpkin patch. I love how they have the flags out here that say costumes. There's another one up here that's your orange and black striped. Couple more over here, but I do have to wonder like, why do some of their signs point towards the road? Like the store is up there, but some of their signs are pointing that way. What the heck? All right, Mr. Pumpkey, we will see you later because we are gonna go right in the party place and see what kind of awesome Halloween goodness they have. We're probably a little too early for all the pumpkins because they usually have a ton of carvable pumpkins up front here, but they do have the inflatable or whatever you call these dancing guys going on. There's always one on the roof. And then we got two of them over here. And these are the skeleton guys. Look at this guy going absolutely crazy. <laughs> you gotta wonder what kind of music he's hearing in his head right now. And then they have these things here where the little kids or whoever, adults could do it too, come up around the back and stick your face out there for a picture. A witch and a cat on this one. And look at this, we got Frankenstein with a pumpkin on this one. Okay, let's go ahead in and see what kind of awesome Halloween goodness we can find at the party place in Canton, Ohio on Whipple. Oh, guys, they are always packed with awesome stuff in here. And holy crap, Look at what I'm seeing right off the bat here. A Pennywise candy bowl holder. I don't think I've ever seen that anywhere else. And here's one set up up here. That is pretty dang cool. And then over here we have Jason. The same thing, he's holding a candy bowl. Those are only 35 bucks a piece, guys. Those are so awesome. They have four Pennywise and four Jason Voorhees get down here and get them right now wait a minute they have some more over here <gasps> yes look at this they have freddy i don't know if i can resist that guys they have five freddies and they have uh i can't even remember his name because i'm so excited about freddy batman <laughs> they have three batmans look at freddy that is plastic too that's not foam like you see some of these in other stores and they're just like cheap foam that would break in a split second. Look at the face on that guy. <laughs> that is hilarious. I would love to have Freddy holding my bowl of cereal while I eat it. Oh my gosh, guys, I love this place so much. That is so cool right there. All right, let's go back over here by the door for a minute because look at who we have sitting right here. They have a sitting scarecrow. What the heck? I don't know if he's turned on. Let's see if I reach for the candy okay he must not be turned on i was waiting for him to scare the crap out of me anyways we have these three jolly ghouls right here i know they do something too but they're not turned on i think they light up they might make some sound i don't know if you guys know let me know or i could go back through my videos and see because i am pretty dang sure that i have filmed these guys before in other party city videos Oh my gosh, guys, there's just so much to see in here. I'm not even sure where to go next. Look, we have all kinds of ghouls hanging from the ceiling. This whole downstairs here is just totally stocked with Halloween. And then up there, if you haven't watched my videos before, that is all costumes and other Halloween stuff up there. I mean, from this all the way down to that end. And look at this here. This is really cool. I love these porch light covers. You simply take this and put it over your porch light and then turn it on and it illuminates the pumpkin. Look at this crazy witch reflector. The eyes are reflectors. It's a safety reflector. It's only a dollar. You wear these around your neck so that if somebody's coming down the street and they have their lights on, the eyes will reflect and it'll keep you safe. Tons of pumpkin carving stuff. And look at this right here, pumpkin fogger kit. I was just talking about something like this in a recent video. This is cool. This is where you will carve your pumpkin, put a little hole in the back, attach this through it, 
and then attach your fogger to it, and the fog comes out the face of the pumpkin. It's so awesome. All right, look at these pumpkins here. These, I always refer to these as blow molds, even though they're not really blow molds. They're just plastic pumpkins with the face cut out. You plug them in and they light up. But these are the ones I really like here. Let's see if any of them actually, no, the lights aren't working in them right now. These are just foam. But look at the face on that. You know, that face actually reminds me of the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man when he's burning on Ghostbusters. Whoa, what in the world? world. Look at this. Ghost face lights. This is cool. I've not seen these anywhere else. These are $10.99. There are 10 lights. Let's see if they light up. Please. Ah, oh, yes. How cool is that? Oh, man, guys. There's just no way that I could go through each and every individual thing in here, but I do like these pumpkin lights over here. You can actually order big ones like this from Amazon to hang for your, from your trees. I was actually thinking about doing that. They're like the size of basketballs. We've got these little hanging fellows here, some ghosts, and look at this guy here. This is like one of those faces I think you're supposed to put on a tree, unless that is just like its own tapestry thing, but I've seen those though. I think I've pointed them out in other videos. It looks just like that, and there's like hands or something, and you attach it to your tree, and it looks like your tree is alive. He makes you feel alive. Okay, we got a couple of headstones here, and then we have more hanging spooky fellows. Look at this guy. He actually looks like sitting scarecrow, only he's hanging and he doesn't jump to kill you. Of course, we have life-size skeletons here. Oh, they have, yeah, cool. These actually make sounds. Look at the eyes. <laughs> that is awesome. I love seeing the life-size skeletons in stores and they're actually different from what other people have to offer. You know you have choices out there then. Listen to that, the bubbling cauldron, the eyes change colors. That is pretty dang cool. And look at this over here, they have, well, they have smaller ones and they have more of those. And then they have like the corpsed skeletons. I was talking about these in one of my videos recently too, where basically like people will buy these, hello, and then they will corpse them to look like this, to look like it's an actual corpse that's risen from the grave. We have these little tiny guys, and then we have this giant guy over here. Look how big his face is. It's huge. He's got a button, but he's not working. Apparently he lights up. Oh, okay, I can see there's actually lights in the eyes there. Here's some more headstones over here, including the Michael Myers, Judith Myers headstone. And this is actually just foam. It's like a really light foam. So if you bought this, you would almost want to cut out and glue on a piece of plywood just to strengthen it. What is this ghoul here? What the heck? Oh, it must be this girl. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it is because I can tell by the hands. And look at this. They have her all bundled up here just so that she's easier to buy and take home. But this is exactly what that is. Look at this. She kind of reminds me of Demonic Dahlia, probably just because of the hair and those white glowy eyes. That is too funny though, how they're just in these little bundles here. I would almost want to buy it and leave it exactly like that. That is actually creepier than that. Oh my gosh, it's so funny. They have everything in little bundles here to make it easier to buy and take home. That is this hanging ghost right here. <laughs> and look at these ghosts with the witch hats on. They have the ghost face eyes, like from Scream. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. Right beside the regular human, they have a skeleton gorilla. Look at the mug on that guy, holy crap. <laughs> the legs are shorter and the arms are longer. Oh my gosh, that is too funny. Okay, wait a minute here. We have some kind of an animatronic, a standing animated witch, the Gothic collection. Head drops downward, light up eyes, witch sayings, and posable arms, six feet tall. We got a six foot reaper down here with a staff. I don't think he's animated, but he's pretty cool looking anyway. And then we have these fellows with severed heads. Look, this one looks almost like the possessed pumpkin. I don't like anything with horns, but this is definitely creepy. Get away from me. Get away from me. Look, a flamingo skeleton. What the heck? 
All right, what is this? We got a climbing spider here. This is by Fun World. Okay, is it just, I don't think this is animated either. I think you just hang it up and it looks like it's climbing. And look at this, Webster sticks for optimal performance in the webcaster gun. Where do you get the webcaster gun? Oh my gosh, I called them Webster sticks. They're webcaster sticks. Okay, I still don't know where the webcaster web gun is. I can hardly even say it. So I just looked it up and I don't see a webcaster gun anywhere, but there is a gun that you can put these in and cast webs. Those are only a buck a piece too, guys. If you have a webcaster gun, it'd be worth the drive to get down here and buy all these. Look at these no-faced fellows up here. They always have so many hanging ghouls and goblins in here. What the heck is this? Is it, does that light up or something? I don't think it lights up, but it's just basically like a hockey puck with a pumpkin or a girl or a skeleton. Oh my gosh, okay, this is awesome. Inflatable body in a bag. Look at this, it is an inflatable. It's five feet long and it looks like you have a body duct taped in a bag. Holy crap, it even comes with the duct tape. What the heck? That may just be the most gruesome thing I've ever seen. <laughs> And I am so tempted to buy it. Look at this. We have cocooned corpses here. It definitely looks better hanging upside down. It's not an animatronic, but it is awesome. All right, we got life-size stand-ups here. Look, we have a Pennywise right here. And then this, I can already tell, is Michael Myers. Yeah, look at that. That is pretty dang cool. And then we have Friday the 13th Jason here. And look at this one. They usually have this one set up. This is the clown carousel. Look at that creepy guy. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. They have all kinds of little spiders and bugs and ants. And oh my gosh, is this, this is cockroaches. Ugh, I want to puke. And look at this ginormous, like, millipede thing. Look at this. They have creepy ants night creatures, creepy flies. And look at this, scary spiders. You could actually get these and make your own zombie babies. It's so funny because when I made my little short the other day about the zombie baby with the spiders that spelled the L on its head, so many people got mad at me because I called them ants. I did it on purpose because it was funny. And look at this, this is called gourmet food. It's like a cracker with a bug on it. This is from 1993, guys. Yes, look at this, guys. They usually have, like, music going back here. What in the heck are these creepy fellows? <laughs> I've seen these guys before, but they always creep me out. But anyways, yeah, this is the Skeleton Band. It is not for sale. You can look back in my other videos from the same place and see that, yeah, they usually have, like, music going. Look at this, we got a giant beetle down here, a couple of headstones, a coffin with bones sticking out, and then we have like the skeleton band here. Pretty cool. Oh look, this is like what I was talking about earlier, the bigger pumpkin lanterns. That's about the size of a basketball there. I have not seen those anywhere in the store yet, but now I know they have them and I want to know how much they are. Look at this giant skele guy. He's got to be... He's got to be eight feet tall. I bet he's eight feet tall. I was going to say maybe ten, but I think he's about eight feet tall. He is pretty dang cool. We have a giant hanging ghosty ghoul up here. And then look at this guy back here. It's a mummy. <laughs> look at the face on that guy. He is like, oh my gosh, he's like a, a foam I think the whole thing is foam. We got an inflatable Stay Puffed there, an inflatable T-Rex, Jack Skellington, Sally, this hanging Oogie Boogie, which is totally awesome. And then right below him, wait a minute, we have Freddy right there. Hi, Freddy. And then right below him, we have a couple of inflatables here. Actually, a whole bunch. What in the heck is this guy? He's like an ogre. That's from 2016. And then this one's from 2015 an inflatable clown and i believe both of these actually shake um oh yeah animated shivers and shakes i had something like this before it was also a jemmy but it was a little bit different from that and this one i think does the same thing here's those lanterns i was talking about only they are smaller in their nightmare before christmas yeah those are way smaller those are probably just a little bit bigger than a softball we got this creepy 
teddy bear guy. Does he have eyes? I wonder if they, yeah, I can feel his eyes light up, but I don't see a button to push. Whole bunch of tumblers here, and look at this one right here. Michael Myers, killing it since 1963. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. Holy crap, it's Freddy versus Jason. I don't think I've ever seen a Freddy vs. Jason Tumblr. That is awesome. Freddy vs. Jason is one of my favorite horror movies ever. I just can't get over how much stuff they have in here. If you were having a Halloween party, this is the place you'd want to come to decorate. I mean, they have so much. I love this Skella Bowl right here. How much is that? $6.99. That is pretty cool. Look at that. It's a candy bowl, but I'd be putting popcorn in that sucker. Heck yes. Look, we have the skull mug right here. And then you have a skull drink holder where you just put your mug under there and pull this and it releases the drink. <laughs> Tons of other party decor and stuff over here. Look at this. A bloody body bag. Ugh. That reminds me of Nightmare on Elm Street. Look at these party plates. They say, help, written in blood. Oh my gosh, it's a shrunken head in a jar. <laughs> I wonder what's the difference between the haunt blood and the vampire blood. Look at this, they even have test tubes of vampire blood. I don't know whether to be excited or puke. Mr. Severed Head down here. Okay, here's some bigger lanterns, it looks like, but they're white with bats on them. Tons and tons of party decor. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. They have so much party stuff, like these little party favors and little games and stuff. Look at this. Erasers shaped like ghosts and skulls and pumpkins and black cats. Guys, I actually have another channel, a brand new channel that I just started called That Nate Guy on Halloween. Specifically for stuff like this that doesn't really fit in the store tour videos where we're looking at stuff like this, the hanging ghosts and goblins and animatronics and the props. I'm going to be focusing more on things like the party favors and building props and look at this like squishy eyeballs spider rings these kinds of party favors and look at this we have like little zombie guys what the heck are those even they go on your finger or the end of a pencil or something and these hilarious little erasers that are shaped like ghosts and cats and mummies and what is that it's like a I don't know if that's supposed to be a devil or something in there, but I just love all this stuff too. And I never put this kind of stuff in my videos because it just doesn't really fit along with the other kind of props and stuff. Look at this squishy brain. <laughs> so if you want to see more of that stuff and more Halloween, come on over. I will link it under this video. Subscribe, hit the bell, and get ready for some more Halloween awesomeness. Oh, this is cool. The ghostly group. Look, it comes with three ghosts, and then you put them in a ring in your front yard. Of course, there's more than three in there you'd have to buy two of these in order to get that six ghost ring but that is pretty cool holy crap guys look at this they have some zombie babies these are totally different than what you see in spirit halloween these are like a hard plastic but it looks the same how hilarious i thought he was holding a microphone like he was gonna sing us a zombie song but it's not it's a dagger so he can plunge it through our heart as we sleep look at this one up here from morbid enterprises headless clown on a swing i don't think i've ever seen that one before light up eyes and moving mouth with creepy audio so he actually is an animatronic too i hear this skeleton ghoulie guy down here making noises i think his batteries must be dying because i don't think that's what he's supposed to do he's just like shorting out i don't even see a button on this one yeah, the buttons on these aren't working either, but these remind me of Poltergeist. Oh my gosh, everything reminds me of some horror movie. Look at this, guys. Groundbreaker Beating Heart Zombie. What the heck? This one's also by Morbid. Uh, arm moves, eyes and heart light up, spooky audio. That looks pretty creepy. And these are awesome too. Look at this, the climbing dead. I think you only get, yeah, you only get one. It's by Fun World. And it looks like the zombies are climbing up your house. And then look at this one. It's a climbing witch too. What did we see? We saw a, oh, we saw a climbing spider over there. Okay, wait, this guy, is he going to do it now? Come on. <laughs> he was just making tons of noise. 
Okay, we got these guys up here too. I'm almost afraid to hit the button because I don't want them to like start jumping around and fall. Ooh, okay, here we go. <laughs> Maybe it's because I've been hiding under your bed, he said. Here he goes. Listen to that. <laughs> wait, wait a minute, he's saying something. Well, I can't understand a word that scary guy is saying, but we got this giant hanging skella guy here. Excuse me, sir, let's get this out of your face. And then we have swinging witches. Oh, they're all shorting out like their batteries are too old. Okay, look at this one. This one's called the warning from below. Keep out, it's okay, it's like a groundbreaker. It's a hand that sticks out of the ground. It says, keep out, help me, and feed me. Okay, that's me right now, feed me. I'm going to Taco Bell. Need some Kentucky Fried Chicken up in this piece. This is what the wings are gonna look like when I'm done. Oh my gosh, look at this. This reminds me of the pumpkin on the one Halloween 2 poster. You could paint it orange, it would be just like it. Kind of. What in the heck is a hoodoo head? Oh, look at the teeth on that guy. He is pretty creepy. Is that like a... What the heck? Is it a candy bowl? I don't know what it is, but it's got a hole in the bottom of it. Okay. Okay, now these are cool. Look at this. It's a skeleton hand holding a lantern. That is awesome. That's the kind of light I should get to put on my shelves in my office. Wait, what the heck is up with this pinata? Okay, it's a witch. I didn't know what it was with that nose. I thought maybe it was nozzles with the jalapeno nose. Okay, let's get back to this video. I wanna go upstairs and see the costumes and the masks. Look at this, guys. We have the stand-ups over here. I didn't see a Chucky stand-up, but there's Jason, there's Michael. I didn't see Freddy in there either. He looks pretty awesome. And we got this guy over here, the scary, spooky tall man. Or Slender Man, if you're into creepypasta. Look at this poor sap caught by the spider. Okay, here we go. Oh, look, they even have some of those lanterns up here. They're the ghosty ones, and those look pretty cool. I still never saw the jack-o'-lantern ones down there. So this section back here is all, like, face paint, and look at this. We have, like, the fake scars. Look at this, giant bottles of liquid latex. Oh my gosh, look at this. They have fake piercings. Those are fake earlobes. You put on your lobes, and it looks like you have those ginormous, stretchy, whatever you call it, on there. Lots of fake tattoos, and look at this. This is the one that caught my eye. These two here. A big mouth tattoo. What the heck? You put it on your mouth, and it looks like you have that big of a mouth. I actually know people who have that big of a mouth. Okay, look at this guy. He's not for sale, and I can't remember what he is called. People tell me every year, because I film him every year when we're in here. I think people told me that this was actually sold by Spirit back in the day, which is strange because it does not look like a Spirit prop to me. Like, everything about this looks more to me like Party City than spirit, but I could be wrong. Let me know if you know. Cause hey, if you know, you know. Oh my gosh, look at this guys. There is a SpongeBob costume for your dog. And a Where's Waldo costume for your dog. Look, it's just called Woof. This one is hilarious. A Caterpillar costume for your dog. Oh my gosh, there are so many hilarious ones here. Look at this. This is a zombie costume. <laughs> I put up a PetSmart video the other day with all kinds of stuff like that in it. If you haven't seen it, go watch it, because I was blown away by how much Halloween stuff they actually had in that store. Oh my gosh, look at this. It is a Chucky costume for your dog. Okay, let's move on, because there is a ton of stuff to see, including these Pennywise masks. This is the newer one. This is the older one. Look at this one. It's Adam from Beetlejuice. Holy crap, I don't know if I've ever seen this as a mask before. That is too funny. And poor Freddy on the ground here. Sorry, buddy. Let's put you up here. We got some kiss masks here. This is an older mask, man. What is it? Yeah, 2011 is when that's from. 
all kinds of weapons here and pitchforks, double-edged swords. All right, this is cool, a warlock staff. Look at that. That actually reminds me of Skeletor. How many times have I looked at something and said, oh, that reminds me of... Oh, this reminds me of Karate Kid. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, let's go down here. Oh my gosh, they just have so much in here. If you have the chance, you'll have to come down here and look. Um, look at this. We have hippie dreads. What the heck? I don't know if I've ever seen a hippie dreads wig like this before. And this one reminds me of four non-blondes. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. It is a super stash. What the heck? It's a bendable mustache. All right, let's head down here a little bit. Look, how horrible does this look? Michael Jackson wig. The wig isn't too bad, but look at the face on that guy. Oh, here's Thor's hammer. I always pick up hammers from just the regular weapons area, and I say it looks like Thor's hammer, but this is actually Thor's hammer. Look at this clown hat. This is too funny. It's a blue hat with yellow flowers. Oh, look, here's a club. You could be Captain Caveman if any of you actually know who Captain Caveman is. Oh my gosh, I have a friend named Kyle who would love this. He actually has some of the clothes that Lady Gaga wore in the new Gucci movie. Oh my gosh, they have chains, but do they have chains of death? I mean, all chains are technically chains of death, but true, legit chains of death don't have any of this stuff. The only place that I've seen the chains of death without the shackles is party city and i bought some look at this they have tons and tons of hats for anything you could want to be what in the heck it is a rat chewing on your head so all of this guys is all costumes and let me tell you there are some gems in here they have costumes in here that have just not sold over the years and so you can find things that were put out years and years and years ago. Whoa, look at this. Like the ghost face costume with a scarecrow mask. Is the mask in there? Please tell me. No mask. Somebody stole a mask. Okay, that sucks. This is from Scream 4, 2010. I would have bought this in a split second if that mask were still in there. Although it is the child size, so the mask might be smaller than the adult one. Oh well. That's exactly what I'm talking about though, guys. You never know what you're gonna find in here. All kinds of weapons. Look, we got Freddy gloves down here. A couple of different Freddy gloves over here. And look at this, this is too funny. A Liberty torch. What the heck, if you wanted to dress up like the Statue of Liberty, there's your torch. Look at this, it's called a pumpkin bunting. It's a baby inside a fleece jack-o'-lantern. Another perfect example, guys. Look at this. I can already tell by the design of this that this is vintage. Teletubbies Lala costume. And let's look on the back here. Uh, yep, 1999 is when this is from. And it's two dollars. I don't know any kids that want to dress like the Teletubbies, but that is some serious vintage goodness right there. Now this is an awesome costume right here. Fun World Skelebones for kids. That looks hilarious. 2009 Yo Gabba Gabba costume. How hilarious is this? It's a kid's bunny suit from A Christmas Story. Now that is too funny. There are just so many costumes, guys. I couldn't even begin to show you all of them. All right, let's look at these over here. What in the heck is this? Is this a, oh, it's a giant. It's called Die Laughing. It's a giant, uh, it's a jumpsuit clown outfit. That thing's pretty ugly. These are all gorilla suits. They have a pink gorilla right here. And what the heck is this? Oh, deluxe astronaut suit. That's pretty cool. Oh my gosh, look. It's the running Forrest Gump costume. <laughs> it even has the hat and the socks and the beard and the wig. And it's actually called Forrest Gump. Usually stuff like this has some kind of a just made up name to avoid copyrights. Like right here, this is obviously Richard Simmons but they call it Exercise Maniac. Look at this, Zipper Heads, Zipper the Clown. This one has got, yeah, 
2009 is when that's from. Oh my gosh, the big bad wolf in Granny's nightgown. All right, I am sweating like a hog up in this piece, guys. So I'm gonna get out of here. But make sure you go over to that other channel and subscribe because we are gonna be filming all kinds of other Halloween stuff that doesn't really fit on this channel.